Hey you guys, welcome to Learn with Glenn. This week we'll be collabing with Urban Oco. So we'll be making hanging terracotta pots. This is the way to do it. Listed to the left are the materials we used in this project. We'll also list it below in the description. Okay, you, you want to wet it first, right? Yeah. We're using water to cool off the ceramic and to prevent cracking when we're drilling. Drilling holes can take a long time, so if you're working with a partner, take turns. Don't forget to keep it wet. This process took a lot more time than we expected. Remember to use a ruler to ensure your holes are spaced out evenly and aligned. Take your spool of rope and measure out four even pieces. Make sure you take into account how high you want to hang this pot. Before we move on to the next step, we're just going to wash our pots and take away all the dirt and debris that was on them. You want a rope just to hang pots, kill husbands, you know, the usual. We didn't feel like paying an extra two dollars for colored rope, so we're going to spray paint it ourselves. If you're spray painting inside, make sure to keep the area ventilated by opening any possible windows or doors. We got these bowls at Target for 70 cents. And we're going to use it as our guide. Use painter's tape to create a line for your design. We use strips of tape instead of one piece because it's easier to keep it even on a curved surface. Oh. So it's not perfect. You can also use a shopping bag as an extra layer of paint protection since we're going to paint this pot in two colors. Next, we're going to use the same guide bowls we used to put the painter's tape on in order to spray paint our gray. After I get an even coat of gray on, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry before I move on. Speaking of dry, I'm going to use two fingers to do a test on my teal paint before I move on to checking the lines and using my gray paint. This came out super nice! Hey Maggie, let me see yours again. Now I'm gonna use the same bowl to do the first layer of gray paint. Mine actually came out great, Glenn, but for the parts that I messed up on, I'm gonna use painter's tape to go ahead and protect the gray and even out those lines. Oh, it's starting to drip. Glenn to the rescue. Stop touching my pot, Glenn. What? You guys don't have to be patient. Patient's a virtue. Benny! Benny in the chest. Where is he? Where's the Benny man? Benny! You want to let your pots fully dry before you put your plants in. So we're just going to leave these on standby. We're so good at waiting. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Check out my channel if you want to learn the recipe for this meringue. The link is in the description. Now we're going to make our knots. They were so complicated, you might just want to look a video for that. Now that the four up, you just... First we're going to plant our string of pearls. <laughs> this plant is called Baby Tears and also nicknamed Mind Your Business. Mm. Ooh, Maggie may have some press anger. Great. Mmm. Mmm, so tasty, Olive. Here's our final product. Look how cute it came out. This video actually took a long time to make because the animals would not let up. Oh wait, 
No. No. Thanks for watching. watching.